Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the brand new iMac. The year model is 2021. Let me show you the machine. Um, this one is run on a chipset Apple M1, and it has the memory of 8 gigabytes. Okay, the year model is 2021. This is a 24 inch. The one I got here is blue color. So I don't think the color has any um, difference in terms of the speed or performance. It's just a color. This is the 24 inch. The resolution is 4480 by 2520. And the storage capacity I got here is 256 gigabyte SSD drive. Um, yep, so this is pretty much right off the box and I like to run the benchmark. So here first I have the iStat menu. This iStat menu would measure the temperature on the computer. Um, I change from Fahrenheit into Celsius. So if you do the Fahrenheit on the top right corner here as you can see it's running about 98 degree Fahrenheit. And if I change this to Celsius, you can see the computer idle at about 36 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this one here is called the Geekbench 5. Um, it shows me that this computer runs on an Apple M1, has about 3.2 gigahertz, and this is a memory of 8 gigs. And what I'll be doing is I like to run the CPU stress test and this benchmark a benchmark on a CPU it takes about 2 to 20 minutes to complete I don't think it takes that long probably might be about 2 minutes or 3 minutes and while I'm running the CPU benchmark I like to see the temperature how high the temperature can get and it reaches at what point and at the same time you can see that the CPU performance peak at what level so I did a first test run and I rested the computer and now I'll be doing the second test run. So hopefully the first test run score is the same as the second one. Um, I'll tell you what's the result at the end of the video. Alright, so let me go ahead and click run CPU benchmark. And while this thing is running, you can pay attention to the temperature. So right now it's at about 35 degrees Celsius and the CPU is starting to run and right now it uses about 60% of the CPU I mean the apps is using that much of the processing uh, percents by the way this iMac here runs on an 8 core um, 8 core CPU And also I think the M1, that CPU and GPU is the same. Uh, it doesn't have a separate GPU, I mean the graphics card. Like on the older iMac, sometimes you can see it runs on the AMD Radeon. Uh, some of them runs on the NVIDIA GT, uh, GTX. But this M1 chipset, it actually runs um, on one single chip, which is the M1. Alright, as you can see that the Geekbench are increasing in percent. That means, and you can see that the 2, 4, 6, 8 core are running sometimes on a very maximum. On a, It reaches to the max. Uh, so far, the max, I can see the temperature reaches at about 54 degrees Celsius. 54 degrees Celsius, 58 right now. Okay, it's actually still increasing. Alright, it reaches maximum at about 58 degrees Celsius, which I'm very, very impressed. Some of the Intel CPU processor can reach up to about 80 to 90 degrees Celsius. And that's how hot it gets when I run the Geekbench 5 on the like Intel i7 or Intel i9 on those MacBook Pro, the 2020 year model. Alright, here is the score. It shows 1741. 
and multi core is 7588 so it's exact same number uh, on my first run so my first run was actually 1741 and the um, the multi core is 7588 so the numbers is exactly the same uh, it did not change it at all all right so as you can see it shows you the uh, the name of the CPU uh, the base frequency is 3.2 and also the um, memory at about 8 gigabytes of RAM so these are the thing that single core performance the result and it shows you that what sort of thing that it runs on like HTML5 uh, PDF rendering camera so these are the stuff that it runs on uh, to show the test and I'd like to share that with you let me close this thing out so the richest maximum degree was about 58 degrees Celsius that was the highest that it went and just a few seconds right and it now dropped down to 38 degrees Celsius as we speak so the temperature does drop very fast um, that tells me that the CPU does not get hot that quickly now let's go ahead we run a compute on a GPU okay so let's go ahead and click this and let it run and see what's the score and the result and hopefully it also shows us the true um, degrees in that CPU hopefully it can go up to in about 50 at least uh, that way we know that it's running that the CPU and the GPU runs on the same chipset unless this thing can complete a lot faster than two minutes well I'm not too sure this is first time running a, a Geekbench 5 on the iMac 24 inch so this is my first time while it did not it reaches 42 degrees Celsius was the highest number uh, that was the only uh, temperature it shows it seems like the stress test result was a lot quicker in just in maybe about what 40 seconds I think maybe about a minute and it's completed it shows me 19479 um, and this is the same specs that it shows so these are the open source uh, open CL performance uh, it shows me uh, these are the, the, the score on it so it's pretty good um, I'm very impressed with this the temperature is what I'm mostly impressed on um, it did not reach above 60 degrees Celsius so that's my um, gift on this brand new iMac I think that CPU uh, M1 chip is very powerful it seems to be um, do what it's supposed to do and, and I'm very impressed with the temperature as well so this computer is very light uh, very um, it's not bulky as the older version uh, it's very light and the bezel here I have is actually they make it in white color so after a while like so far I've been using it for about 15 minutes and I think that white bezel blends into the screen that I'm not aware of is being there I'm not sure if that makes sense the older iMac it has the black bezel around it sometimes you feel like you can uh, visualize you're in that screen zone uh, meaning that you know that you're looking at a monitor but with the white bezel I think when you shut it down might not look the best I'm not 100% sure um, but yeah but while you're using it especially I have the um, the white background it it seems like the white bezel here blends in pretty well I'm not able to notice it for a while after using like 10-15 minutes uh, it doesn't seem to bother me with that white bezel hopefully I share that experience with you you can uh, determine you know if this is a good fit for you uh, let's see so I just did a shutdown 
and the shutdown was really fast in just less than three seconds and it just shut off and this turning on the computer it probably takes about five seconds or so and there you go you just boot back up uh, yeah so so far I actually like it and um, I'll let you guys know if I have more videos about this model on the iMac so if you like to see more of the um, iMac the 24 inch model year 2021 please click the subscribe button like button and notification bell and I'll probably make more videos about uh, the repair on this model maybe uh, I'll do a teardown on this so hit the like button subscribe and stay tuned for that video take care now bye